Raj report. My name is so important, you should delete your own name from your memory in order to make room for mine. Today, we continue our important work by investigating the social implications of exchanging germs through the mouth. By the mouth. By the mouth. By the mouth. By the mouth. Or as it is referred to in the modern day colloquial English, kissing a how-to guide. Welcome to the gradual report, where we gradually report. <laughs> Alec, I love your YouTube vids, wrote, I just recently got deprooted by my GF, and I know I was bad since it was my first time, and I know you have plenty of experience with girls. You're damn right I do, Alex! You're goddamn right I do, buddy! So I'm wondering, what are the good steps to be a good kisser? Well, Alex, first you gotta understand that kissing is a lot like eating an extremely delicate fruit. Huh? 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 No, Alex, a little more delicate than that. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, Alex, not that one either. Probably something a little more like this. Very soft. It bruises easily. Now I'm gonna go through the steps of becoming a fantastical kisser. Step one! Brush your teeth. If you brush your teeth with dog sh you'll probably have a hard time getting anyone to kiss you. Second step, Alex, would be gum. Gum! The more minty the flavor, the more likely your date won't throw up in your mouth. The third step to being an excellent kisser is stay away from onions and garlic. There's nothing worse than moving in for the kiss and getting the hint of death on the other person's lips. Hi, what a kiss. <laughs> uh, your breath. It's a rank. Step four, possibly five, because I'm an idiot and I've lost count. Get yourself a nice... Supple fruit. Then you want to give her a little kiss. A little kissy poo right on the old fruiteroo. Ready? Mwah. Don't worry, salivating is totally normal. You just give her a little, a little of the lower lip. A little bit of the lower lip. Just like this. Just. Uh, 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 yeah. Then you get a little bit of the upper lip. Move that on in. Uh, uh. And when you get real comfortable with the lip situation. Mwah. Oh, just a little taste, a little mm, mm. Then you can work your tongue on in there. And then if you get really, like, animalistic, let's say it gets hot and heavy and you think you might move on to the second base, just go ahead and give her a little nibble. Just like, oh, mm, mm. Oh, you're so good to me. Mm, mm, mm. Ah. But remember, if you do that, you'll have to hide the body later. I hope that helps. Join us next week when we show you how to beat the shit out of someone. You don't ever talk about Jay Carl like that! I will eat your heart! Yucky! Final summation! What you'll find when you kiss, like you're tasting a delicate fruit that you may never consume, is that you may be consumed by the delicate fruit that you are tasting. I'm gonna share you later with my toilet. <laughs>